Rice, that humble grain that forms a staple food for much of the world's population, has a complex relationship with diabetes. For those managing this condition, the type of rice you eat can significantly impact your blood glucose levels. So, let's dig into the details, break some myths, and unveil the worst rice for diabetes, along with five healthier alternatives. Throughout this video, we'll dive into each alternative, exploring its unique properties and the benefits they offer for blood sugar control. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Firstly, let's address the elephant in the room, white rice. In many cultures, this polished grain is the preferred choice due to its taste, texture, and cooking qualities. However, it's also the most refined version of rice, having had its bran and germ layers removed, the parts of the grain richest in nutrients and fiber. A study published in the British Medical Journal in 2012 showed that regular consumption of white rice could increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. This result comes down to its high glycemic index, which can cause a rapid rise in blood glucose levels. On the other hand, we have brown rice, a whole grain that retains its nutrient-rich bran and germ layers. This rice variety has a lower GI and is higher in fiber compared to white rice, slowing down the rate at which sugars are released into the bloodstream. A study published in the Archives of Internal Medicine in 2010 found that replacing 50 G of white rice, just a third of a typical daily serving, with the same amount of brown rice would lead to a 16% decline in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Clearly, brown rice stands as a healthier alternative to white rice for individuals with diabetes. Next on our list of alternatives is wild rice, which is technically not rice at all, but a species of grass. Nonetheless, it's often included in discussions about rice because it's prepared and consumed in much the same way. Wild rice boasts lower calorie content and lower GI than white rice, with more fiber, protein, and antioxidants. A 2018 study in the journal Food Chemistry highlighted the phenolic compounds in wild rice that have potential anti-diabetic effects. Our fourth rice contender is black rice, often referred to as forbidden rice due to its historical significance. It's packed with dietary fiber and powerful antioxidants called anthocyanins. Research published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry in 2013 showed that black rice bran could help regulate blood sugar levels, making it a suitable option for people with diabetes. The next alternative isn't a type of rice per se, but it does deserve a mention. Cauliflower rice, made by grating or processing cauliflower florets, is a fantastic low-carbohydrate, low-calorie substitute for traditional rice. A 2018 study in the BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care Journal demonstrated that a low-carb diet could effectively control type 2 diabetes, reinforcing the potential benefits of integrating cauliflower rice into your meal plan. So. What's the worst type of rice for those managing diabetes? The answer may surprise you, it's actually instant rice. Instant or quick cooking rice undergoes extensive processing to reduce its cooking time. While it may be a convenient choice, this process strips the grain of essential nutrients and increases its GI even more than regular white rice. In fact, a study published in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism in 2018 showed that consuming instant rice could cause significant postprandial blood glucose and insulin responses compared to minimally processed rice. In other words, instant rice can spike your blood sugar levels quickly and to a greater extent, making it the worst choice for people with diabetes. Armed with this knowledge, you can make informed decisions about the type of rice that suits your dietary needs. It's important to note that managing diabetes effectively involves more than just choosing the right type of rice. It includes overall balanced nutrition, regular physical activity, and adherence to any prescribed medications. It's also worth mentioning that individual responses to different types of food can vary. Thus, while the studies we've discussed provide valuable general insights, people with diabetes should monitor their individual responses to different rice types. Understanding the impact of rice on diabetes helps raise awareness about the importance of healthy food choices in managing chronic diseases. By knowing the worst rice for diabetes and learning about healthier alternatives, we can navigate dietary decisions more efficiently, ensuring the meal plate remains both delightful and healthful. That said, moderation remains key. Even healthier rice types should not be eaten in excess, but included as part of a balanced, diabetes-friendly diet. 
The idea is not to banish certain foods from your kitchen, but to understand their effects on your health, and then adjust consumption accordingly. So, whether you're a fan of the aromatic basmati, the starchy arborio, or the nutty brown, remember, the best rice for you is the one that keeps your blood sugar levels in check while satisfying your palate. And sometimes, this may mean swapping traditional rice for something a little different, like cauliflower rice, or opting for whole grain versions like brown or black rice. If you have diabetes or any specific dietary concerns, it's best to consult with a registered dietitian or a healthcare provider for personalized advice. When it comes to diabetes management, the key is to focus on maintaining stable blood sugar levels. For individuals with diabetes, consuming a balanced and varied diet is generally recommended, rather than relying heavily on any single food item, such as rice. Rice is a staple food in many cultures and can be a part of a healthy diet for individuals with diabetes. However, it's important to consider a few factors. Pay attention to portion size when consuming rice. Carbohydrate content and portion size both affect blood sugar levels. It's advisable to monitor your carbohydrate intake and work with a dietitian to determine appropriate portion sizes to fit your specific dietary needs. The type of rice can impact its effect on blood sugar levels. Generally, whole grain rice, such as brown rice or wild rice, contains more fiber and nutrients compared to white rice. The fiber in whole grains can help slow down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, which may have a more favorable effect on blood sugar levels. When consuming rice, it's essential to pair it with a variety of other foods to create a balanced meal. Include sources of lean protein, healthy fats, and plenty of non-starchy vegetables to help slow down the digestion of carbohydrates and promote better blood sugar control. Everyone's response to different foods can vary. It's crucial to monitor your blood sugar levels regularly and observe how different foods, including rice, affect your blood glucose levels. This will help you determine the best approach to managing your diabetes. To sum it up, there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to diet and diabetes. It's about making informed choices, being aware of portion sizes, and maintaining a balance in everything you do. Diabetes management isn't just about eliminating the foods you love, but about finding healthier ways to enjoy them. It's essential to consult with a registered dietitian or healthcare professional who can provide personalized guidance based on your specific needs, preferences, and health goals. They can help you create a well-rounded meal plan that suits your dietary requirements and supports optimal diabetes management. After all, it's not just about adding years to your life, but adding life to your years. In the grand scheme of health management, every grain counts. Here's to making every meal and every grain of rice a step towards better health.